Yo, it's been a while. Um, it's Lynn back. I think I told you I changed my name back to Lynn. But anyway, not Brenda anymore. Just Lynn. She, her. And um, here I've got Mr. Lewis and Miss Tinkle, who's running away. And yeah, they are sitting between my legs. So sorry about that. But I just wanted to do an update. Tinkle's peeing everywhere and running around like crazy, but whatever. Um, the boys are getting bigger, as you can maybe see. I don't know. Um, I'm not too worried about having them out together. I mean, I'm watching them. Also, Tinkles and Sophia should have gone through ratty... Well, I don't know if it's ratty menopause necessarily, but they shouldn't... They haven't gone in heat in forever. And I don't... I think they're too old to be able to breed, really. So, I don't know. But... Um, before I put the boys in the big cage, or put them all together in the big cage, I think I'm going to neuter the boys, which will cost a pretty penny, but it'll be worth it, so have everybody all together, and then the boys won't fight as much, I don't think. So, sorry, my stomach's in the way, I got a big stomach. <laughs> but yeah, um, now you can see Lewis has definitely gotten bigger, he's almost as big as Tinkle, but not quite, uh, I think... Well, uh, I know my mom wants to move the boys once they're a little bit bigger to the big cage. But I don't know that I want to do that. Because um, I don't really want to cramp so Sophia and Tinkles all of a sudden. After they've had all this space, I don't want to put them in a littler cage. So I might just leave the boys in the little cage until they're neutered. Which might be problematic. <laughs> Because they're already fighting over dominance and stuff. Which, I mean, that's to be expected to a degree. I just don't want it to get worse um, because they're so cramped. Which, they're not too cramped right now because they're not that big yet. But they are getting bigger. So. Tinkle, why are you peeing everywhere? Oh my gosh. Usually it's the males who pee everywhere and she's just going at it. Don't lick my foot. Why do you lick my foot, sweetheart? But yeah. Louis is the most friendly and docile of the three boys. I don't know why. He's also the smallest. Um, Blaze is the biggest in size and Clark is the heaviest. And then there's little Lewis. <laughs> he is the baby though. He's the youngest. On Saturday he'll be, I th or I'm sorry, on Sunday he'll be, I want to say 13 weeks. So he's he's getting up there. Because uh, we got him on a, on a Sunday in November, I think, and he was five weeks. So... I think, anyway. I don't remember. I have it marked in my calendar, but I'm not looking at it right now. What are you doing down there? So, yeah. Yeah. Just wanted to come on and update. Everybody else is doing well. The guinea pigs are doing well. The uh, gerbils are doing well. The gerbil girls. They're all doing well. I've been a little worried about the gerbils, Ithun and Freya. Just because they are older, I don't see them all the time as much. Because uh, I think they're sleeping more often now. I always worry, like, they're dying or something. But, um, they haven't died yet. They probably will this coming year. Because, like I said, they're they're getting older. I mean, they already are older, but it's okay. It's, it's life. I don't know if I'll get more gerbils immediately. I might try to do plants instead, actually. Which I tried once before, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I epically failed. I ended up growing mushrooms, and I wasn't even trying to grow mushrooms. Um, but yeah. And then, I kind of expect Tinkle and or Sophia to pass this coming year. Because of their age. Well, maybe not Sophia. Because she is bred for longevity. At least that's what her breeder told me. And But her breeder also said she was bred for temperament. And really, she's... Hey, don't kick him like that. And really, she doesn't have a great temperament, so I don't actually know. But, uh, Sophia's going on two years old. She'll be... I'll have had her two years in February, it turns out. I thought it was three years, but it'll be two years, actually, according to Facebook, anyway. And Facebook never lies. Um, and then I'll have had Tinkles. That means I've had Tinkles a year longer, because I already had Tinkles earlier when I got Sophia. So, Tinkles already is two, and Sophia is almost two. I guess she'll be two. Maybe she's two now or two in January. I'm not sure. I don't know how old she was when I got her. She was a little baby, though. She was a tiny little thing. Uh, I can post pictures to my Facebook page. 
which is uh, Crow's Nest Pets, I think, with underscores, I think. I don't know, I haven't even looked there in a while, so I'll have to go check. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and update. I'll try to do more videos. I'll try to get back into this. It's just been so hectic and busy, and I have a book coming out. Um, it's not, not, it's a fiction book. It's a epic poem about feral cats, so it's called Shadow and Ash. It's, hopefully it'll be out January 13th. We're not certain on that date yet, though, but I'm really hoping that's the date. But not to, not to promote my book when this is not the channel for that. But, um, yeah, Tingle's getting restless. She wants to run around like crazy, and she's getting pee freaking everywhere. Tingles, come here. I mean, her name is Tinkle, so I, maybe I'm to blame for that. But, yeah. And she loves the little boys. I let her look at them, and I let them look at her. Because um, I just make sure nobody humps her or anything. Because I just, I really don't want to take the chance of her or Sophia getting pregnant. Sophia gets to look at the little boys, too, sometimes. They all like each other a lot, so I'd really like to have them all together. That's why I'm going to neuter the boys. Also, spaying the girls just would not be worth it, even though they're already of age and size. Because they're so old already, I mean, I just, I don't see it being worth it. It'd be dangerous, I feel like, because they're elderly. Um, so I just, no, it'd, it'd be easier to spay, the, or to neuter the boys. Even though it'll cost more, and I have to wait longer because they're not of size yet to do it. So, yeah. That's just beautiful, guys. That's beautiful. And they're almost the same size. So, I don't know. We, we might rig something in the big cage to separate them until they're, the boys are neutered. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, yeah, we're going to work it out. Because I really, I don't like the boys having such little room when they're getting bigger. They're not full grown yet. Um, I don't know when they get full grown. Maybe four to eight months. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's in that time range, but I'm not really sure when. And if he's... 15 weeks, well 16 weeks would be 4 months, wouldn't it? So I don't know, he's not full grown yet, I'm pretty sure this is not full grown. All my male rats before him were bigger, Tinkles please. All my male rats before him were bigger, but he's the smallest too. So look how good he's doing. Good boy, Lewis. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, well I'm going to sign off now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I'll probably put these guys away or maybe let them play out a little longer. I don't know. Maybe I'll handle the others a little bit. I did get to handle Sophia for a little bit longer than usual today. Because she came out on her own and she said, hey, I want to be handled. And I was like, okay, Sophia, you can be handled. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off. Say bye, Tinkles. All right. Bye-bye.